Chris here with Barnyard Outdoors and I am at another state park. I wanted to get out today and uh, try out a new piece of kit I have. It has been miserable out here in the Midwest and I am sick and tired of winter. I don't know if everybody else is, but I am done with it. Uh, yesterday it was rainy, a little freezing rain, a little more rain, a little more freezing rain. Uh, today was supposed to be sunny. It was this morning, but it's windy and it's cold and I'm just tired of it But this is a perfect chance for me to try out a new piece of kit. I got from Kuvik titanium and it is a small stove. I actually have two of them with me today But I'm only going to be uh, wow the lighting's horrible here <laughs> I actually have two of them with me today I'm only going to be using one because of the wind and I'll explain why so stick around as I'm gonna make myself a quick little lunch here while I'm in this shelter at the park and I'm looking out over the uh, the river there and uh, probably make some coffee too. It is cold. It is really cold out here. It's uh, it's about 27 degrees and it's windy. So with the wind, I think it's about 17. I'm really wishing that I brought some gloves. Kuvik Titanium sent me a couple of their stoves, actually several of their stoves, and uh, I was hoping to get out and use one of the, uh, the biomass stoves. The problem is it's been so snowy and rainy out here that everything is wet. So this is a perfect time for me to use a solid fuel stove all right and you're familiar with these little cubes they're like an s-bit cube the ones i have are from expedition research now what they sent me was was two different types and this this one is really cool this is a little little titanium one and you just fold out the the pot supports here it's tough to do any of this because it's so cold i mean it's really cold and you fold these out like that. You put your solid fuel tab in there, set this down. And, and these are nice little emergency stoves. I really like this. I've always wanted one. I'm, I'm kind of happy to have it. But I'm not going to be using it today because it's too windy. And I don't have a, uh, a windscreen with me today. But they did send me another one of their stoves that uses solid fuels. And it's right here. I mean, this thing is thin titanium. Comes with its own little carry bag, which you know I love. And this is pretty simple to put together. It's always a challenge when it's cold out to put something like this together, but it's very simple. It's got three pieces. They're all identical. And then it has the little tray for the fuel tab in it, which is really cool. So it's pretty simple to put together. You've got these little, uh, little bent out pieces, which are for stability. And then it's just little tabs that go in. It's super easy like that. And then, uh, if you get everything lined up the right way, it's easy to get those set up. And then the last one requires a little bit of finagling as the whole thing falls apart. Sometimes it, it's good if you have a third hand on this stuff. Let's get this put back in. And the last one just slides in like, like that. And then you've got a really stable base. Plus, you've got some wind protection with that. Then you take the little fuel tab holder and you just kind of slide it in. It's got notches that it goes into. And there it is, it's all, it's all secure and it is ready for a fuel tab. Now I brought my Pathfinder Titanium with me today. I had someone ask me in the comments which one I preferred better, the Pathfinder or the Keith. Um, I like them both, I think they're great. This is a perfect example of why I am using the Pathfinder today because I'm not only making myself a hot brew, but I'm also going to make myself uh, some soup so I can have some lunch here. So I'm just gonna take out the fuel tab. Got my handy dandy Swiss Army knife with me. I will go ahead and cut out a fuel tab. It has been years since I've done anything with these tabs. So this is gonna be a fun test to see how well this works. As you can see there, I just drop the tab in there. That's, that's all you have to do, right? And light it. 
buried in my pocket full of gear here. I do have a lighter. So I'll take my lighter and we'll check this out. Actually, I'm gonna hold this cube up to get it lit. You can see it's, it's definitely windy out here. A little premature on putting the, the cube down. So as that gets lit up, I am going to get my, my little meal put together here. Really simple stuff today, it's cold. I'm just doing some, some Starbucks via coffee. And then my lunch is gonna be this little, uh, little cup of soup, Lipton cup of chicken noodle soup. And that's why I like that I have two containers here to do the cooking in. First, I will heat up my coffee so I can enjoy that. And just set that right on top. And, and it works great. There's none of the wind that's here is causing any trouble with, uh, with the flame and the burning of the cube. As I say that and the wind kicks up. And then I'm gonna take the lid on here cause I'm trying to get that water heated up and then in this small one, like I said, I'm just gonna do this little cup of soup. And these are, these are real easy. They're, they're pretty small. Um, it's six ounces of water. So the little cup of soup takes six ounces, which is about 177 milliliters. Uh, it's got 150 to 300. So I'll put just a little, little extra water in there when I get ready to put the soup on. But right now I am just waiting for my water to boil or at least get hot enough for coffee. These little cubes are sometimes a challenge. They don't put out a lot of heat, so you gotta be patient with them if you're gonna use it. But so far, this little stove is working great. And the wind uh, is not really affecting it at all. And of course the cup fits on there perfectly. It's very stable. What's nice about the design of this, it really contains that heat, gets it right up to the cup, and it's already steaming. Of course, it doesn't help that it's below freezing out here, but it's doing really good. And the uh, little tabs, maybe, I don't know, a quarter gone, between a quarter and a half, burn up. So I'm gonna let that finish warming up so I can have my coffee while, I get my soup ready. This is why I like this set. You get a cup and a pot. So you've got something that you can eat or drink out of and you can have your coffee while you're waiting for your food to cook. Um, it's, just, it's just a nice, a nice little setup. If you've never seen one of these, it's, you know, it's noodles and, and bouillon, right? It's, it's not, not a lot in there. It's stuff blowing all over the place. It's so windy. Hopefully my audio is better. Um, since I'm using a wireless mic with a dead cat on it, that should help with the wind noise problems I've been experiencing here. Go ahead and get this stirred up a little bit. get this ready to put on the fire. I've got some bubbles in the cup. That's a good sign. Mm, chicken. So these little cubes, I'm not sure how long they're supposed to burn. Um, I get four fuel tablets in this package and I bought a box of a bunch of these. 1500 degrees, smokeless and ashless, 15 minute burn time for each tablet. I think that's probably being a little generous, but um, they do work. Um, it's, it's just a, a great option if you're out of options, right? I consider this more of a survival fuel tablet more than just going out and camping and, and hiking where that's your only source to heat things up. 
But, oh, that's, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and get the coffee in there, right? <laughs> if you've never tried these little uh, Via packets, I think they work really good. I think they're probably one of the better instant coffees. They cost more than Taster's Choice or those other ones, but they have a really good flavor. Now it's getting nice and warm. All right, my coffee is ready. So let's pull that off. And we're gonna throw this right on there. And then use the same lid. And while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I can enjoy a nice hot brew that's, oh, that's nice and warm. Oh, it's coffee, I love coffee. I'm a huge coffee fan. Um, it seems like every year I do a different method of making coffee, and I have decided that 2023 is the year of the percolator. Um, I've been doing percolated coffee out at uh, my car camping outings, and I've been real, real happy with it. Good flavor um, and a good quantity. Um, I actually have a video coming up where I'm going to talk about my percolator, at least show the percolator I'm using. Uh, because I got a bag that it will fit in. I'm very, very excited about that storage bag because my percolator is one thing that usually goes right on the fire and it gets dirty. Um, when I put it back in my camp box, I want it to be in a bag or something that protects the rest of my gear from getting all dirty. So far, this little stove is working great. Um, I'm still on the, the original tab and it's still going pretty good. So. I'm hoping that one tab will make both the coffee and my lunch. Um, that's a, an efficient way to use the fuel, especially when I only have four with me. I can put a second one on if I want, um, if I don't get the soup done, but uh, you know, if you can conserve fuel, that's always a good thing. Um, plus, I don't think I need a full second tab just to heat up the soup. Normally when I go on these little outings, I have a cup of coffee in the car and I did not bring one today and I regretted it about 10 miles away from the house. So I'm glad that I had my little uh, essential kit bag here, which always has a little coffee in it and stuff to start a fire. And then of course the water bottle and, and the two cup set here. Let's see how this is doing. Stir it up a little bit. There's a little steam coming off it. That's good. That is exactly what I want. The other nice thing about this set is the lid. The lid works with both. So it's, it's a good set. It's not cheap to buy stuff like this that's titanium. All of this stuff is made in China, whether you get the Keith or the Pathfinder. Um, they're both equally great kits. Um, I do like the advantage, though, of having the second, the second cup, and that's, that's really nice. Well, that little fuel tab is, is getting low, but oh, look at that. I got some nice steam there. Oh, this looks good. Doesn't that look good? Pretty happy with that. That's definitely warm enough to eat. Mm-hmm. And the fuel tab just went out. So that worked out really well. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. I think it, it helped trap the heat and block the wind. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little stove if you're using those little tablets. So uh, I definitely would recommend it. I appreciate that, uh, that Kuvik sent me this. They sent it to me for free just to kind of test out and uh, said I could do an honest review of it. And I'm impressed with it. Uh, like I said, I'm not a fuel tab stove guy, but it, it worked great and it works great in this situation. I got not only coffee, but I also have some soup to eat, which is, which is good. I mean, and some good soup too. This stuff, uh, I like this stuff. It's easy. It's a cup of soup. I could drink it if I wanted to, but look at that, noodles and everything. Mm. There's even some little bits of carrot in there and, and spice and chicken flavor. That's good stuff. 
So I like it. I think it's pretty nice. I think this thing runs about um, maybe $19 on Amazon. I'll put a link to it down in the description. I don't get any money on the links that I put down there, so you can at least go check it out. Um, they have a store on Amazon for both that and for the little small emergency one. Oh, the sun is finally coming out. Well, hopefully it'll warm up. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my coffee and my chicken noodle soup on this cold day. Thank you everybody for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and, uh, and subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber because I like doing stuff like this. I'll be doing more reviews and more campouts when the weather gets better. Uh, and man, we need winter to just end here in the, in the central US. Thanks everybody for watching. Mm -hmm.